uh, the Metal Detector. Uh, Frosty 2.0 here is perfectly brought out about a year ago. Uh, brought over to the small tower scene. Trying to, over there, still trying to do some stuff. A lot, lot of people we weren't doing other than like maybe Ryan, Nova, things like that. Uh, currently, we just went back and went to the motor with uh, Freedom. Please, they, they went back, did some of their updates to it. Still has, uh, still has the Wagner style head on it at the moment. We've been running the Hearts Charger. Actually, this morning we blew up our Hearts Charger, had an overspeed issue. This truck is of course all SMS fuel, has, uh, has a few one-off parts on it from other people, uh, beans, a few different style covers, things like that. This engine does have one work crank, CNJ rods, all that stuff in it. Uh, we, have a, we have a mixture of almost everybody's everything. Uh, the truck's been running on a lock style manifold up until this race. We were having overspeed issues, not able to bleed enough nitrous off, not enough, enough dry pressure out of the gate, so we swapped over to a header with a new straight E gate. Got plenty of bleed off. Our overspeed issue was uh, was basically a map that was a little off with a little bit of knock to come in too quick. This thing does run on the edge, all that. It's a 17, 1800 horsepower combo on, on turbo and another 14, 1500 on nitrous. So it does run at the end of the night, uh, end of the turbo all, all the time. Other than that, you know, some of the safety stuff we have lately was like Max Pack the new Air Air Fire 8 system, the Grand Diesel, the Tool Fab, he's got a ton of stuff on this, on this truck, tailgate, roll fan, uh, sheets out the back, carbon fiber on the dash, of course, valve cover, all that kind of stuff. Daniel, our power source diesel, he does all the tuning on this thing. Him, him and Andre in conjunction, Andrew, uh, does all the beating on the keyboard, makes all his suggestions of how he wants to do things. Daniel tunes all the chassis, guides Andre how he wants him to do, do different things as well. Yeah. Very nice. Oh, oh, we have a, have a pretty good thing going. Here. This thing has a lot Where of potential that we're just scratching on, trying to figure out the right way to do it. Uh, coming up the hurdles, having to go around them. This truck is heavy on the nose. It is heavier than all the trucks in our class. But I don't think we're going to have any trouble competing with it. It ended up uh, a street truck that we drove later and, and uh, did some pulling on the side, like some exhibition pulling was a twin turbo truck. We brought that thing down and we brought, bought the ginger truck probably four or five years later. Ended up uh, running it for a few years, ODSS. Uh, got, got hooked up with Daniel and some of them guys and, and become good friends with them. And uh, they helped our race program out a lot, just telling us what to do, how we needed to do it. We've had several. So Pretty good power street trucks over the years, had some fun with them, had a little bit of everything. And this is definitely the most serious thing we've ever had. Uh, we were pretty involved with the Nova back in the day, the Green Nova, after Ryan got rid of it. And uh, kind, of, kind of sparked us to buy this. We bought this truck, I believe, during No Mercy, probably four years ago now. So uh, it took us a little while to get around and get into the program we wanted into it and get it going, but it's here now. Obviously, uh, fuel systems, uh, no tech system, that's all, all that stuff, stuff, all their firmware stuff, all that stuff. If I didn't have Daniel with PowerSource, Daniel Pierce, 
I wouldn't be racing. I don't know enough about it. His family grew up racing, having tracks, doing different things. He's done a little bit of all of it. Wasn't for him, we wouldn't be able to do it. So I come out here and he tells me what to do, tells me, hey, you're being dumb, do this, and however it is. I try to do my part right, he does his part. So uh, without him, we wouldn't be here. He's a pretty close friend of ours. We have uh, we have some of Ryan's base timing tables in this thing, uh, even, even though uh, Andre and him basically tune it on a day to day. Uh, Ryan Hardway stuff is, is in this truck as well, all his base stuff. You know, like I, like I was mentioning earlier, Randy, the old school fab, they've done a lot with this thing. He's um, he, he's fixed stuff for us several different times, made custom stuff for us, done different things. Uh, Arch has then gotten a pretty big on board here lately since we went over this new header setup. Freedom, we haven't done a lot with Freedom in the past until we just recently got this going, but we've got a spare engine coming from them. They're gonna be, gonna be on our team moving forward. Of course, we run a Suncoast converter. Uh, don't have any chrome We're uh, we've had some Sun, Suncoast transmissions in the, fa in the past, and just once they got tired of building, we swapped over Rosler's. We have a few Rosler units. <laughs> Overspeed something, or, you know, we popped a couple of chargers trying to lean on it pretty hard. Had it kind of figured out, lost some lock oh over, got some down tracks a, a while back over at Texas Radio Roundup. Probably should have ran a three there. That's what we grabbed right now. Fire pump struck, did go 399. Around a tenth off of us right now. 